Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Hello friends. In this session, we are going to understand the relationship between physics and other branches of science. Or I can say we can, uh, we will understand how physics is applied in other branches of science. Let us start with biology, right? Do we use physics to study biology? Yes. Very important uh, application of physics in biology is microscope. So microscope is an application of optical physics, right? It is an application of optics. Using microscope, we can uh, look at a very, very small microorganisms which we cannot use, which we cannot see uh, with our naked eyes. And if the object is too small, then we can use electron microscope, which is again an application of physics, right? Okay. Now, using this biology, we have something which is called as medical science. Right? Medical science. Do we use physics in medical science also? For example, if you broke your bone, then the doctor will first ask you to investigate. Right? Because he wants to see, he wants to see how exactly the bone has been broken. So he will ask you for x-ray. So what is x-ray? We use x-rays which can penetrate the flesh but which can which cannot penetrate the bone so using x rays we can see where the bone has broken how exactly it has broken so that the doctor can make the medical treatment on it mri what is mri magnetic resonance imaging right where we can look into our body we can peep into our body uh, layer by layer right and then investigate as to what exactly is wrong with the body so what is mri it's an application of physics and so on so there are numerous numerous uh, application of physics in medical science also does physics have application in uh, chemistry right does it have any relationship with chemistry yes there is a branch of chemistry which is called as electrochemistry, right? Where we see the relationship of electricity and the chemicals. So, what what is electricity? It is nothing but the uh, it is nothing but the principle of physics. It it is the application of physics, right? When we talk about atoms, when we talk about electrons, we say that atom. Uh, have nucleus at the center and electrons ha are revolving around the nucleus and whenever we talk about uh, uh, chemistry we talk about elements we talk about compounds we talk about atoms we talk about el uh, electrons right so we say that electrons revolve around the nucleus what is the force which is making the electrons revolve around the nucleus nucleus have proton inside it and electrons revolve around this proton by the virtue of electrostatic force of attraction right so when we say that elect, uh, electrons revolve around the protons by the virtue of electrostatic force of attraction we are using the principles of physics to justify the existence of atoms and so on we are we, we are able to understand the principles of chemistry also right so it is also used in chemistry so maths now we will come to maths, right? I can say the physics is actually application of maths. So uh, whenever you study maths, as far as uh, addition is concerned, subtraction is concerned, division is concerned, uh, um, then uh, multiplication is concerned, you use all these functions in your day-to-day -day life, right? However, when it comes to integration and different uh, differentiation, you wonder why exactly am I studying this? Where am I going to use this? It is the major application of physics. We understand physics using integration and differentiation. 
right? So there are so many applications of mathematics in physics or I can say physics is actually the application of maths, right? So I hope you have understood what is the relationship between physics and other branches of science. Thanks a lot. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.